So this course was very good in terms of starting from the basics and, you know, really at the bottom level. My name's Sammy. I work for Network Rail. Uh, my role there is a finance business partner. So I've recently completed the Power BI course um, because it's something that we want to move towards in terms of having very nice visuals for our stakeholders. It's all good and well kind of sending them data sets, but it doesn't really mean a lot when it's just rows and columns of numbers and text. So Power BI is what we want what we want to move towards and sort of presenting that data in uh, in a way that's more feasible for people to understand. Overall, the course was great. Um, Omar was our lead, so he was very knowledgeable. Any questions we had, he kind of knew the answers on the top of his head. He was patient and he kind of, I liked how he would kind of talk through what he wanted to show us showed it to us on screen and gave us the chance and the opportunity to do it ourselves. So it was kind of like a, a good approach in, in doing it rather than kind of, you know, sometimes you join these training courses and it's just someone wheeling off information to you and it's a lot to take in, whereas this course was kind of structured in the way that there was a practical sense to it so we can actually apply what Omar was telling us in some sort of practice so we knew exactly what we were doing. So I thought that that was a good way to do it. definitely recommend using Power BI if you have information to present to people who are sort of maybe not from a finance background because how the visualizations work in Power BI it just kind of summarizes things quite clearly and you kind of you can play with the slices to or slices to show you know different views and um, so I think it's a great way to kind of view data um, over Excel. I know Excel you can use graphs and you can use pivot tables but again you can do that but the visual it doesn't visually look very nice and you have to do a lot of formatting and then it's a case of every time you want to update the data it's refreshing everything whereas power bi you kind of drop the data in and it just does it all for you it's very quick so i definitely recommend it for anyone who has sort of big large data sets to present to, to other stakeholders <laughs>